Hello, I'm going to take you through installing the iPageRank script onto your site. Once you buy it, you'll get an email automatically within a few minutes um, with a download link which will be active for 72 hours. Download the script to your computer. The first thing you want to do after that, after you've created your web host, is to create a database. Most people will be using cPanel, so I'll be using this as an example. Go to your cPanel, scroll down, find the section headed databases, click date of my school databases and you need to create a database. It's as easy as just typing in a name. So I'm going to call this my web rank create database. Click go back. The database has been created and the name is my website which is the uh, uh, username for, for my web host and that's the actual name of the database. We want to copy this straight away and we want to put it on the config PHP page. So this is the config PHP page as you more or less will receive it. We've just created a database so the database name, DB name, we want to paste that database name into that line, the fourth line down. Next we need to create a user for the database, so um, let's create a user, ranking and a password. I use the password generator. Um, as long as it doesn't have a dollar sign, you're okay. If that password that's generated has a dollar sign, change it because um, the script won't work. It causes a bug. So copy that straight away. Copy it click use password and straight away go back to your config the database password is that and create user ignore my roboform right so the user has been created um, my user was my website my web sit underline ranking so we need to we need to put that into here so my web sit underline ranking there's one more thing we need to do on the C panel we've created a database we've created a user you need to attach one to the other if you scroll down to the page add user to database so there's the user there's the database click add click all privileges, click make changes, done. So that's the database done. That's the only thing you need to do on the web host apart from upload the files which we'll do in a second. So I'm going to close that now. Um, on the config you have some other um, uh, areas to fill in information. The email you want contact form sent to is a contact form that comes with the site. Um, you input here where you want your email sending to. You type in your domain name. I'm actually installing this uh, my website ranking.co.uk and a tagline, a little description um, discover your website ranking. That's all you have to do to all so you've, you've added database user, database password, database name, an email address for the contact form and the headings. You can close that, save changes. Right, I'm going to pause the video now while I upload all the files. Um, these are the files that you get. These are all the files that you get. Um, I'm going to upload all those and I'm just going to pause the video while that happens. Okay, all the files are uploaded. The next thing you want to do is to go to your website in and add it, go to the page install.php. I N S T A L L P H P. Go straight to that page and that will finish installing the script and you'll get the simple message script installed. Then I just go to the home page. There we go. So the information you put on the config page about the domain name and your tagline is there. Um, you'll notice that you'll notice that there's no descriptions here. That is a very good reason. Um, 
primarily Google don't like seeing duplicate copy all over the place. Um, that's the main reason. You, and you're better off making your site look a bit unique and different. If you wanted to, you could go into the CSS and change the background of this image, change it, make it a different color if you wanted to. But add your own text underneath all these. Um, you've got s most of the links that you need. Home, about, contact. Again, you'll need to fill in the blanks. Home, add your content. The contact page um, is all there if you want to add any other information. Terms of use, you'll want to add terms and conditioners. Um, you'll need to create sitemaps. Um, on the files, I give you links to where you can create a XML sitemap, a, a text sitemap, an RSS feed very easily. Um, this, uh, there aren't many pages. You're better off making an HTML, um, um, HTML sitemap manually. That would be the easiest thing to do. Uh, just make sure the script is working okay. So let's put I page rank org. Forgot to click the submit button. You'll notice this link here on the free version that is embedded. On the paid version, that link it doesn't appear. So in case you can't see it down there, here we go. So that link there, this link here, is embedded into the free version. And there we go, it's come up to the results page here. Um, again, I've taken the descriptions off. So what I would do to monetize the site is here, um, have a little description um, with the results and then a link to something that could help someone improve their page rank or Alexa rank or uh, how to go about getting more backlinks. Could be a ClickBank product, your own products, or anything, an affiliate program. So that um, that's the way to monetize a site, or you could just simply add some AdSense. Um, again, on the script here, you can see there's an embedded link down the bottom. Um, if you remove these links, well, you you find it very very difficult to. But if you do, um, I will find you, and I will. Um, get your site taken down because you're breaking the condition of having the free script. So please don't take uh, the script. Um, I spent hundreds of dollars getting this script developed and I will continue to develop it. Um, and Everyone who gets a copy will get emails when the script's updated and get free updates and everything. So all I ask is that you link to my two sites. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, any problems, there's a contact form on the site and you're most welcome to email me.